Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. So in today's episode, what are we doing today? Well, in the last one I talked about the having built up this um, this bus along here, which is going to run out of space quite quickly, I think. So I'm going to try and get a bit further up and give, get a bit more space off the top here. And I also want to build up some automated facilities for producing the science packs. And I'm thinking I'll put them in along this top area along here, because there's quite a lot of space here. But that means I'm going to need to go through here and clear out some of these biters and what I quite like to do is extend this wall up at the top here since it's already there and have that go all the way across to hit this lake unfortunately as you can see here my um, artillery range only comes out to about here so but fortunately if you start using the artillery remote then you get a much longer range and I, okay I'm gonna have to do a bit of this manually but it's going to allow me to um, take out all the biters all the way up to that that line uh, that sort of imaginary line I'm talking about and then, um, yeah, run along there and, uh, and clear it all out. So, let's do a bit of that. So, as long as I destroy all of the nests, then in theory I can probably come along again afterwards and take out and take out the, the worms and any remaining biters. The main worry is that if I, ha if I leave any of the, uh, the nests behind, then more biters will spawn from them and potentially then start creating more nests. I also need to make sure that my defences down here are capable of coping with the um, sudden influx of biters that's going to be dumped on them. So let's put in a few more of these plasma turrets. Because this, is, this area is going to get quite busy, should we say. <laughs> that said, none of those look too... Uh, that, okay, that one looks quite big. I love that leviathan. Um, but otherwise, they're uh, not quite so terrifyingly big. And it's a spitter, so it's not so tough anyway. Where was I? Some of these nests seem to be a bit tougher than others. Like these ones haven't been taken out by the uh, a single round from the artillery. But others, it feels like the um, yeah, like this, up here we're taking out huge numbers of them with each shot. So I think this is another of the sort of the advanced Bob's enemies uh, where they're a bit tougher and the uh, they get tougher um, nests that take a bit more abuse to destroy. Okay, time to move the train forwards a bit, I think. One of the things I've learned is that it's quite important to go in fairly quickly after shelling the biters initially and build up defences to keep them out because they do spread quite quickly. And I want to obviously I want to avoid that happening as much as I can because it just means more to, spending more time clearing them all out again, more effort, more ammunition, and so on. And I'd rather not have to do that. Don't need to take that one out actually. That's outside the area I'm going for. That said, I'm running out of ammunition, so I might need to go back sooner than I expected. Okay, the big guns are stopped. Let's move forward again. Right, okay, out of ammunition. So I'm going to need to head back down and have a reload, and then I'll be back up here again fairly soon. At which point we'll come up here and then loop out this way. And then we can take this from here all the way across here till we hit the water. <laughs> I don't know how much of that will actually have laid. I can't remember if you're allowed to lay outside of um, radar view. Then we can make sure we pick out, pick off some of these ones that are either. I oh know that's okay. That's not a nest. Some of the ones that are either respawning or just generally in a place where I haven't cleared out properly. The artillery is wonderfully lethal. Not quite powerful, but it's, uh, it does the job quite well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that one was new. That wasn't there before. And that certainly wasn't there a moment ago. So yeah, they are the biters are definitely expanding still, which is why it's now important for me to get up here as quickly as I can and start laying the new track. I don't know if I've got any construction bots. I have, but they're the old sort. Okay, that's fine, because there's a slightly higher chance of them getting destroyed doing work like this so it's probably good to use the cheap ones <laughs> and they're fast enough for short distances 
even if they do get rather easily distracted by other things around here that have been destroyed and should have been fixed a bit previously. Oh well. Never mind. Now the issue, I, slight issue I've run into, I've noticed with this system, is that there's a risk of the... Um, when you're trying to build your wall out across here, there's a rather high chance the artillery are going to start shooting at things further away and causing attacks on your part built walls. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the train off here. If I... There we go. So now I can just take the the front part of the train that has the bots and the trash container in it and take that out into the into the field. And that means it won't start randomly spontaneously shooting at things, which is rather nice. Okay, so here we're going to need to have a bit of a think about this. So certainly needs to have an underneath there in order to and lose that in order to get that through there. We're also going to want to use one of the standard outer wall styles, like I don't know how many how many plasma turrets do I want to put in? Every other is probably reasonable. So every other um, pylon, so something like that, perhaps every other set of gun turrets and that way hopefully I won't run out too quickly <laughs> oh spot on almost could have been deliberate right so put that there and up here we're going to need to take out these in order to put in a splitter there and the belt going across here not sure why I had some of the grey belts but never mind Oh, and I need to wait for those yellow belts to be put down before I can actually put in the put in the belt pointing in the right direction. <laughs> this needs some work because this keeps getting filled up with things I don't want it to get filled up with. Um, but maybe I can use some of that stuff, some of the stuff as well. Okay, so it's taken a little bit of setup, but now I've got all that. That's all correct. This can now just be pasted in repeatedly, forever. And then followed with the train, and the train, and the um, the train will build it all up. the The risk, as I do this, is that there might still be some biters that haven't been killed off properly, that might come up and attack. And if they come from, if they come from the outside, then that's okay because the plasma turrets should hopefully be up more or less in time to uh, to make sure that they're, they they uh, get hit by the plasma fire on the way in. But if they come from the inside because I've not cleared the cleared the biters out well enough, which, to be quite honest with you, I haven't then there's a chance of things going a bit wrong <laughs> and a bit going a bit badly. Yeah, so something like this can happen. Um, where there's some worms that I've missed. That's a bit of a shame. At this point, I probably could actually still take them out with the artillery if I notice them, because I might have... Yes, my artillery train has range to here, so we can we can do quite a lot of damage to anything that's in the way, like these ones I'm going to want to deal with as well. Um, I'll wait until I can see them, I think, but I can take them out with the artillery. But once I start to get outside here, it, it might get a little bit harder. Especially this cluster here, we're probably about to try and make a spawner. That's the sort of thing they do, and I can't do anything about it from here. That was a bit premature. Yeah, this is another problem you run into, is that the some of the guns will start firing before all of the guns are ready and you don't really have your defences finished like this and then you start to have serious problems and you, you get the big biters coming through and chewing on the walls some of the spit yeah and then you start to lose a load of stuff because it isn't capable of supporting itself properly so I can give it a little bit of help, but most of the time it, it does seem to be able to sort itself out. But it's a bit expensive in stuff, and I don't know if this blue cloud is still dangerous. It doesn't seem to be damaging anything, so I'm not going to worry about it for now, but it's a concern nonetheless. I also get my train filling up with random stuff that I don't want it to, and then, the, and then their bots can't put all the junk they're picking up from the ground back into it. Which is a bit of a problem, but not an insurmountable one. Oh, and if all those go over there like that, that's going to give me problems as well. 
finding that. I didn't realise they were smart enough to find their way round, but apparently they are. That said, if I can turn... If, they, if they're going to stay down there, I can always turn a plasma turret around and get them on the way back up. So, maybe, that'll, maybe we'll be alright. It's probably time to slap in a radar, I think. Do I have any? No, I don't. Oh dear. No, I don't even have the small radars. That's a bit of a mistake. I'm also going to run out of walls well before I run out of everything else. So, I've not planned this perhaps quite as well as I might have done. Uh, there are a few things wrong with this. With the, there's nothing wrong with. I think the the basic approach, the theory of what I'm doing, is probably about right. But there are a few mistakes here and there that I've made. Things that I could have done a bit better. But you know that's part of the course. Um, if I was perfect at this game, it probably wouldn't be very interesting to watch me play it. Or maybe it would, maybe, but it'd be a very different type of series. Loads belts, not very much wall, loads of turrets. Okay, I'll just carry on and I won't bother putting the wall out, I think. And then I can come back again with some more stuff and hopefully finish it off. Because it feels like this wall is capable of defending itself from the, the outside world. But I do, need, do have a bit of concern about anything that's going to come from inside. In fact, let's deal with these. And I'm definitely going to need turrets around the top. Uh, not turrets, radar all the way around the top of here as well. Uh-oh. This is bad. And this is the problem you run into. <laughs> you get the massive splash damage of the plasma turrets that just destroys everything when you try and try and get them to cover each other. So the friendly fire is rather common. I suppose the ideal thing for this would be to have a second would be to use do be playing multiplayer and have a second player with the with the artillery train coming along here and clearing out anything that's in the way. Mm, but I don't have that. I could bring the artillery with me. But the pro big problem with that is that um, the artillery would then be shooting at everything out here, because this is all obviously in range, and we'd be making a massive mess of it. <laughs> uh, so it would be make meaning I'd be getting a lot more attacks happening on the on the area I'm trying to build, and that wouldn't be wouldn't be great to be honest. <laughs> it's bad enough as it is. I, mean, I could do it myself, I suppose. Once I've got a section of this built up, I could send the train back for a reload, that sort of thing. I could then move manually move this artillery train down here and control it myself. Maybe that's worth it. In fact, that's probably what I should be doing. How much range have I got left? Oh, I'm still inside it just. Let's take them out before they take out too many of my bots. And again, we run into the problem of the, um, the very limited coverage of the plasma turrets. They just can't... They can only take out one arc and only at very specific ranges. But still, they're lethal enough that it's to make it make them worth it. Do not want that. That looks like a nest, judging by the size of its thing. Now these spitters are going to need to be dealt with at some point. They're not too big, so I'm sort of hoping that the guns that can actually shoot inwards will be able to get them. I guess we'll find out when I start getting alerts of everything being destroyed. <laughs> Run away! Run away faster! <laughs> Right, that sort of worked. Didn't destroy too much of my own stuff. Okay, so at this point, I've reached the end of my artillery range. So I think what I'm going to do is go back, and get a reload on the um, art uh, reload on on the walls and stuff that I'm using for this construction because I've obviously not got enough of them, not by a long shot. And move the artillery train so that it can do a bit, can provide a bit more covering fire or fire support or whatever we want to call it. So back to base. Okay, here we are back again, rolling along the top side. So let's have a look at the range I've got on this. If I move, yeah, just a little bit further, it's about here. That means my artillery has got the range to cover the whole area that I'm trying to work in at the moment. So I've got that'll be great for providing all the necessary sort of fire support and things. I've restocked with lots and lots of walls, some cannons, um, should, yeah I've got plenty of weapons so that should all be fine now. And I've uh, also picked up some radars that I can install while I'm up there so, I can be, so I'll be able to see what I'm doing and keep an eye on things when I, whenever I need to. There's a radar there already, is that a radar 2? Yes, let's upgrade that while I'm passing. Okay, so probably about the point where the wall ends is where I need to put in another radar. Do that, it's about here. There we go. Nice uninterrupted coverage. That might not be in artillery range. No, it's not. 
that's potentially a problem. I'm going to nip over and deal with that while the bots build up all of this stuff. A small nest like that, I think I can deal with by walking out plasma and plasma turrets down to sort it out. Maybe not. Ah, help, they're eating me. I'm not supposed to do that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, fortunately, I've upgraded my armour recently. Right, that's that dealt with, with only minor <laughs> losses. Oh, I'm not very good at combat, you can probably tell. Oh, why is the line gone wrong? <laughs> help. Okay, so here we go. This is the sort of thing I want fire support for. I'm not going to go try and go in and deal with these worms manually. I'm going to call in a artillery strike. Like so. Much easier. And it was going so well until then. That was a single shot kill. That was not... <laughs> Hardly... Well, I don't know. I don't know whether I can say not fair or just harsh. Oh well. Alright. Uh, why is there always crushed stone on my coal belts? Okay, so until that rather unfortunate ending, that's pretty much how I've um, been liberating extra territory with um, artillery support. And it works fairly well, although I have to admit it does take quite a long time. But still, it means it's relatively risk-free. It's certainly manageable. As you can see, I've now got an extra big long swathe of territory that I can use. The next step is to make sure that that area inside it is actually properly safe. Um, which it isn't quite yet. As far well, it might be, but I suspect it probably isn't. Uh, just make sure I've got rid of all of the biters inside. I need to make, I need to loop this railway line round and finish it off and tidy it up and that sort of thing, and to make sure it's uh, it's usable. And then I need to put in um, robot ports all the way through the uh, new, new territory I've just gained, so that I can build in here without too much effort. 
and I need to pull up the uh, the walls and the turrets and things from all the way around the outside of it. Oh, sorry, the inside. What's now the inside of it? The previous front lines, because I don't need defences down there anymore because they're inside my defences now. It's, it's, it's all inside my claimed territory. So those are the next next few steps. I'm not going to keep in, include those in the video because there's nothing particularly exciting. It's all pretty obvious. You just put, whack a deconstruction planner over the whole lot and go around and um, clean it all out. I'm sure you can imagine exactly how I do that, and it takes probably about as long as you'd expect, especially given that the um, the bots are slow to clear up anything that's got massive quantities of ammunition in it. Let's have a look. So yeah, there's still a couple of a couple of spitters down here that appear to be fighting with trees. There's the same there. Otherwise, though, yeah, I'd say that's basically cleared out. I think we're now goodness knows what those repair bots are trying to do. So let's reclaim the corpse. Where is it? What was I? was about here somewhere where I died. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it took two tries because I needed the first one put the armour on, the second one actually cleared everything up. Okay, so what I was actually planning to do before I was so rudely interrupted, should we say, was build a railway from here onto there and then plan straight down with the use of landfill to get me all the way back down to the... Um, in order to get me down back onto here where everything can rejoin again. So now, as you can see, I've claimed all this area up here. That's gone reasonably well, apart from getting horribly murdered at the end of it. And the next episode is probably going to be about um, putting the science production up here. And so I hope you'll join me for that one, and I'll see you then when we'll do some more building. Thanks for watching.